guys, what's up? Today I've got fish coming in, I've got uh, some guppies and stuff like that, so i got to find some tanks and rearrange some fish. Uh, a little update on uh, the tank we set up the other day. Nice and clear now for the most part. And uh, it's ready for some fish and plants and all that, so I'll get to that maybe today, who knows. Um, hyphen Platy's still doing well. That's good. But I do have to figure out where am I going to put three strains of guppies. I'm thinking one down here. This is an empty tank. And I've got one down here as well. I could repurpose that. And then I just got to find one more. So uh, make sure you stay tuned because I spent some premium money with Guppy Train and got three strains of guppies coming in. Uh, tracking says they're going to be delivered. I got to go to the store and pick them up and bring them back. So maybe I'll pick up some plant stuff while I'm there. But for now, I'm getting started. First stages of this tank are happening. I've got all my uplift tubes in because I realized once I started putting fish in they could get down below. I didn't want that even though I only have two of them operational. Uh, I started putting in some caves because I wanted to move in the super red bristle nose pair. If you guys haven't seen, I was breeding those in a 20 gallon long, or not 20 long, a normal 20 high for the past year. And you guys kind of watched that. We've had some babies and stuff but I haven't raised up a whole lot of the fry so 100 gallon tank will help me accomplish that. But I'm going to put a link uh, down below in the description and in the comment section to watch the How to Breed Bristlenose Plecos video. It's, I think it was good content, people still love it, and uh, you can see what I'm doing now versus what I did then, and you can get some different perspectives on it. So, uh, now I'm going to start putting some plants in and things like that. Uh, I've got a piece of wood in here as well. I always like to have a piece of wood so that my uh, Plecos can go chomp on that if they want. I'm never worried about anything that's alive, so I've got lots of algae. Great, I welcome it. I welcome the algae. The algae is going to help uh, both the bristlenose and the sunset variatus once we put them in. And I'm thinking about stealing some of this uh, floating plant. I've got water sprite floating right here uh, in the tank down here. Uh, so I'm going to steal some of that. I think I'm going to put some Valisneri in and those kinds of things. So I'm going to work on that now and we'll see kind of what it evolves into. I'm going to steal bits and pieces and things and make it something. I don't know what yet. So I'm going to add some more life to this tank. This is a java fern I pulled out of one of the tanks over here. Uh, some of the tips and the leaves have been growing up out of the water, so they're a little crusty. That's no problem. Any leaves that have died off, I just pull off and, uh, you know, kind of prune the plant like this. The plant leaf came right off and, you know, it's been a hard life for this plant on this, I say this plant, this java fern on wood. I haven't been getting any fertilizer. I've been living with one betta and I've just been neglecting it. That's why we recommend java ferns. They're so hardy. Um, but now it's going to go into this tank. We're going to put some fertilizer in there and stuff like that. It should really start to thrive and you know it's going to be a good place. Something like this right here. If you ever have babies you're wondering like where are they going to hide? Guess what? They can hide right in here. Like ooh yeah. You can barely see my hand right? Out of sight out of mind when it comes to babies. So we're going to add that and uh, yeah I'll keep going. So I've been robbing things from other tanks. I've got a Anubius uh, copper foley here just out of the pot. What I want to show you guys is on the inside of this thing, if I can get it to focus, there's white beads. That's fertilizer put in by the farms to keep these plants growing, right? So I need, I'm going to go rinse all that out. I'm just going to rinse real quick, give a quick, quick rinse. I already pulled the rock wool off. And then I'm just going to jam this thing into uh, a space and let it grow. Uh, not in the gravel, but somewhere up top. And then you can see here, I've got pond snails. I willingly want to introduce those. They're all part of the ecosystem. They're going to get in nooks and crannies that other snails can't. And uh, in general, I find it to be very beneficial. A lot of people are afraid of snails, but I, I like managing the whole ecosystem and not so much, uh, you know, trying to keep everything sterile. When we keep it sterile, it's way harder. When people change too much water, they have problems when you know they're dipping plants in bleach. They have problems. Snails cohabitate with uh, plants just fine. They've been living on these plants. All the plants have snails. All my tanks run snails. That's just a little side snail rant there. Uh, there are some snails that eat plants. That being said, they're few and far between. They will eat dying plants. Like I hope they go and eat some of the val that was got a little. Uh, beat up in transit. When I was pulling it out, I snapped some leaves and stuff. I want them to consume that for me. So I'm going to give this a quick rinse and I'm going to keep planting. So I'm going to bring up a really good comment and a point that someone made on the YouTube channel. And that was, it was in reference to the video about talking about how we make a better community and all that, which I'm working on by the way. 
Uh, we're already testing. Some people have been invited to kind of make some posts like that. It's, it's a forum, and yes, we are testing it, and it's got some cool things going on. But anyway, the cool point, or the very important point that was made, I feel, was that aquatics and this hobby is equal parts science and art. So science and art, but they're equal, right? So even though you might know chemistry well and you know everything there is to know about stuff, you also have to have that artistic eye. You have to go, you have to be in tune with the fish and stuff like that. It's stuff that you can't learn in a book. You have to learn by doing. So even though you can, you know, I could read a book on how to paint a masterpiece, but how do you get good at painting? Typically by practicing. And that's what the aquatic hobby is too. So, you know, when I show you I'm planting plants, stuff like that, realize the important part is not that I'm about to put uh, African fern bulbitis in there. It's that there is cover. And if you want to use dinosaurs, you want to use Easter egg grass, you want to use yarn, you want to use wood, rocks, doesn't matter. So long as the fry can escape the parents, that means the babies can raise up. I just choose to use plants because I like to look at plants and I like what they do for the water. Uh, but, you know, don't worry right here that it's, you know, crypt uh, loosens and you can only get crypt lutea or oh, you can only get anubias or oh, you can only, you can only, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. You know, research science, but then practice, 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 practice. And that's how I know I'm not afraid of snails. Why? Because I have snails everywhere. I love snails. In fact, the tanks that do best have snails. So, anyway, I'm going to get back to planting. And I just wanted to point that comment out. I don't remember who it was off the top of my head, but I thought it was a very good point. Science and art, that is this hobby. And I think that's why it draws so many of us in, is we're either a science nerd or maybe we're... You know, we just like to play around with stuff. For me, that's the whole hobby is I go and read about stuff, but then I, I want to challenge everything I read. I go, ah, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if nature would do that. I don't know. I don't know. Eventually, I do know. I figure it out. And I figure out this is what happens in my water with my fish, with my style, which is completely different than your fish, your water, and your style. That's the complete difference. And a lot of hobbies have different styles. In the aquatic hobby, right now there's only two. You have, you're doing it wrong, and you're doing it like me. So you got two. Didn't mean to flip you guys off there, but uh, yeah. So either you're doing it wrong, or you're doing it just like I am, which is the right way. You know, and I'm not saying me, but I'm saying those are the two mentalities of, you either do it like me, and I agree with you, and you're right, or B, you do it differently than me, and I disagree with you, and you're wrong. And that's what I want to change, is that, you know, uh, there's a lot of different ways to think, and a lot of different ways to do stuff. Um, you know, look at most other hobbies, whether it's, you know, martial arts, how many different styles are there? Look at uh, painting, how many different styles are there? Look at um, sports, how many different sports are there? Even though it's all the same physical activity, really, they're all different. And one guy goes, oh, I love baseball. The next guy goes, oh, I hate football. Same thing. Just because we don't agree with it doesn't mean it's wrong. Same thing here. Anyway, rant done. Getting back to zenning out with my aquariums. And then I'm going to show you how I zend out. Well, I just got the call that my guppies have arrived, so I gotta go to the store. Come along with me, let's go! Alright, I'm here, I got my guppies, been yelling at Kaylee all day. That's not true, I don't yell. Do I, Kaylee? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna do some shopping. I always forget to buy, well, I don't, I don't buy it, I steal it from myself. I make Kaylee take it out of the inventory, it's damaged. That's not true. Uh, anyway. I'm going to bring home some foods. I know I want some of this for the guppies I just brought in, and I want some of uh, the freeze-dried bloodworms. I already have the fry food, but these I want. I'm trying to think of anything else. What do we need to sell? What's in the warehouse that needs to sell? Um, easy iron. Easy iron? We need easy iron. Buy all our easy iron. That's not... We're really not that much. It sounds like you're crying about nothing here. That's not even that much. We have... She's crying because we got to get all this up on the shelf. That's the problem is... Is this Easy Green 2 liters? Yes. Yep, Easy Green 2 liters. Looks like more Easy Green. More Easy Green. What do we got here? Oh, oh yeah, I need root tabs. Put one less of these in the inventory for me. I need these for what I'm doing today. And, uh, yeah, so we're restocked on root tabs. We were getting crazy low. She was, she was starting to yell at me going, You know, we're going to run out. So, uh, shirts are restocked. I got up to 5XL. I don't know if I showed that. Uh, what else? I think that might be it for this side. I gotta go shop for plants and stuff. And I gotta race back home because I still gotta do a live stream at 5 with uh, 
the gentleman from Australia. So it's about two-ish now, and uh, I got to get to getting. The store was kind of packed full of people. We had music playing, which YouTube doesn't like, and then you know it's hard to film when people are there. So I grabbed uh, a Valisneria grab bag, which it's super super slim Val. I don't even know what kind that is. Um, then I grabbed a bunch of plants, some Pontiquetons, and uh, Pennywort, which I usually excel at killing because I'm neglectful on that, and uh, Crispus, things like that, and some more root tabs. So now I'm going to go ship something to David. David, if you're watching, you know what this is about. We shipped a sponge filter or a sponge intake to David twice, and they're both still sitting in transit. And you're thinking, okay, yeah, wait some more time. We shipped the first one something like November 13th, and here it is, December. 14th or whatever we shipped the next one like two weeks later so we shipped one like the 15th and then the 30th and here it is two weeks later and they're both stuck somewhere in the post system so now i'm going to take one to ups and try and ship it that way uh but yeah just you know he desperately needs one so we're going to get it to him unfortunately it's taking forever you know but it's one of those things like well, I don't just want to keep shipping all day long because they're not actually making it to you. So hopefully this one will make it and hopefully it makes it in like a day or two because the guy's been super duper patient and I'm appreciative of that. So back to that, then back home and I'm going to unload this stuff. Get ready for the live stream too. All right, guys, here's the unboxing. I realize it looks like it's been opened. An employee opened it because I've, I've always told the employees, if there's live fish, go ahead and open it and uh, get it so it's heating up in the room. But no one's looked at them yet, so insulation, I'm already on board, I like that. Let's see if there's anything too sensitive on this thing. I don't know if I want to show their address, but uh, here's what I ordered. I got Purple Haze Guppies, I got the Platinum Galaxy Rainbows, and the Full Gold, full gold Tuxedo. So, and you can see the price there, they were about 35 a piece, and uh, yeah, so 35, 35, 35, yeah. All right, so we got a heat pack, still warm, that's good. They, 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 uh, they fold it really well, like that's a technique I want to learn. Like they, looks like they fold it like a taco or like a burrito or something, so it just, oh, I see. You start out with all corners, you go one, two, three, and some kind of four. Okay, we can go behind that, anyway. Let's get the fish, right? So it looks like some are right on top. What do we got here? This is Purple Haze Mosaic Female. All right. So I'm gonna start sorting these because uh, what you definitely don't wanna do, you never wanna get them mixed up where you put the wrong male or female in with something because then you've ruined your strain forever, so. There's a female. I already like the fact that they're individually bagged. I'm on board with that. What do we got here? This is... So we got two in this one. This is the rainbow strain. Alright, and I ordered all kind of uh, juvenile young, I think is what it was. Let's see, does it say on here what I... No, it just says... Yeah, it doesn't really say about that, but... Um... Yeah. Anyway, these are all from Guppy Train. Um, you know, I don't know what the quality or anything is like that yet. First time I've ever ordered from them. But I saw some fish. I wanted to get some guppies. What do we have here? We have Platinum Galaxy Rainbow. A couple more fry. Yeah, so Purple Haze. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm keeping them, keep them straight. Ooh, I do like that they put them in a, a garbage bag so if any water leaks. There's some packing peanuts. So far, I'm, I'm really enjoying this packing. You know, I can't speak to the quality of the fish, but I can speak to the quality of the packing, and I'm on board. This is someone that took some time. We've got, these have got to be the tuxedo. Yep. So we've got some tuxedos. This is one pair, and they're a little bit small. So I did buy them. These are all supposed to be the same size, and uh, they were, these ones are a little small, so they said they included, I think, some extras of the tuxedos. Which I'm okay with that, that's fine. You know, I wasn't buying adult pairs anyway. Uh, another Rainbow Platinum. Okay. Let's see here. We've got a Purple Haze Female. Okay. Because I ordered trios of each one, so. A 
let's see here. And this is a uh, full gold tuxedo. Okay, which I thought that's what this was. What is this? Oh, it's a bonus pair. What is this? This is okay. So they sent me extra metallic. I don't know what that is. Madonna? <laughs> I don't know what that says. Metallic uh, white tuxedo. Oh, white metallic German white tuxedo. I think. Yeah, G E R. I mean, yeah. Okay, so metallic German white tuxedo. This is the full gold tuxedo. Okay, yeah, these are the ones I actually ordered because I wanted lots of gold. Let's make sure. Oh, there's one last one in here. So, survey says we've got purple haze mosaic male. Okay, so now we've got the lay of the land. They look to all be doing well. And we've got so gold tuxedo pair. Or trio here, yeah. So it's, I think this is the one where they were a little bit light. So yeah, those are pretty young. I'm okay with that. Pretty cold at the moment. Yeah, but it's cold outside too, by the way. Um, all right, so I got the lay of the land, and I wanna, I wanna actually see the temp of these fish. Um, so let me grab. I think if we go over here in the fish room, I think I've got my, uh, like my thermometer, heat gun here. Not heat gun, but. I want to see because the heat pack itself is still warm, but it's cold. Like I, I, I bought, and it's like the high today is like 32 degrees or something. So, oh, it's not that cold. You know, they're about 73-ish. Some of them, yeah, I, I felt some were cold. Like this one, this one's much colder. So let me keep feeling here. Yeah, I feel like. That one's definitely coldest. And yeah, it's about 70, but that's fine. I mean, that's, in my opinion, you know, without judging quality of fish, because you can't judge that for probably, I probably won't be able to judge that for another six weeks of growing the fish up and all that. But packing A1, I would have no problem ordering based on packing alone from Guppy Train. And they're on Facebook. Do they have a website? Let me, let me see if they have a website. I don't know if they do. I think it's only on Facebook. They've got a, uh, yeah, it looks like it's only on, only on Facebook here. It's, yeah, Guppy Train, Christopher uh, Stevenson, Sparks, Nevada. Yeah, so there you guys go. It's, uh, you know, I'm going to get these in the tanks now. Well, I'm going to float them is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get them come up temperature a little bit, and we're going to work on putting some of those plants away in the 100 gallon, and then we'll reveal and drool and ooh and ah and do all those fun things. So I just found more free fish. Even though we were taking them out and I was reading them, I had assumed plat or purple haze rainbow, uh, we had had three bags of those. Turns out it's only two bags of those. And the other one is what I'm deciphering as Japan blue rainbow. And these fish are different. So I'm gonna have to, you know, work a little fast here and get a couple of additional tanks open and ready. I think I've got enough, but uh, yeah, that's always why I want to be super duper duper careful when you're putting away the guppies and you've ordered multiple strains because all you put, if I replace those in the same thing, they're all useless essentially because um, they're going to cross contaminate and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I caught that. Double checking, putting the camera down so I can make sure I catch all this and don't make a stupid mistake here because that would be dumb. All right, well, here's the full tank. I uh, installed an extra light. That's a monster to bring out the cut a little bit. I mostly just wanted more light. That's the only one I had laying around. Um, so they look good. I installed all the plants. I want it to become just an entire jungle in here. So they just breed and breed and breed. Um, we're floating some of the pennywort. I just want to float that, have more floaters in here. Got the floating water sprite. Uh, we installed a crinum. We've got more floating pennywort. We've got java fern in the back, valisneria down there, uh, pontigeet and crispus here. That should get big. Some crypts up front, that huteroy crypt that I got from LR Bretts. We've got a dwarf aquarium lily in the back. We've got a Madagascar lace plant in the back, uh, pontigeet and bovinianus in the back. We've got some guppy grass in here that's going to take over, bulbitis. Um, more, I, I think that's Dwarf Sag, but I'm not sure it came in as a grab bag. We've got a Nubius back there. 
And uh, I just fed these guys. They'd come up front and start eating. This is the brine shrimp cubes that I picked up while I was at the store. Love feeding these things. They're really good for, um, you know, I use them for cichlids and then bigger, like bigger fish, like angels and platies and bigger tetras and, you know, because obviously full-size shrimp are bigger. So um, now I got to start uh, letting fish go. So that's going to be the next process, getting these go. I'm changing water on the goldfish tank in the, the fish room right now. Um, what I've been thinking about is goldfish require a lot of water changes. And so, so let me show you guys something. I want to take you on a tour, right? This is why I like auto water change. So this is the second water change I'll have done this week, which normally I do one to two a week. And everyone's like, oh man, your water is so cloudy. One, I've got bad acrylic, but two, um, it just does get cloudy in there. The water is a little bit cloudy. Like that's just the way it is. So we're doing extra water change. You know, you can see up here the acrylic itself is actually pretty bad. And I, I scrubbed that down and you can see it scratched. And I have silicone here on the inside that I can't get off no matter what I do. So, you know, part of the, if I don't like it, I tend not to do it tank, I hate it. So I'm not, not spending a bunch of time improving and making it amazing because it's already disappointing me, right? Uh, but then let's go look at a bigger tank with way more fish load, but it auto water changes, okay? So now we come over here, crystal, crystal clear water. There's more goldfish, there's a auto water change, like it's perfectly clear water. And that's why I love auto water change. So back to what I was getting to is I'm thinking about moving those goldfish into, if I can get either this tank right here or put in another tank right there. I'm just waiting to find the tank to go there and move my goldfish that I like out of there. I know you guys are going to know, but I love watching them on the live stream. I get it. But what I could, one, when I put the new tank in, I could make it out of water change. Two, uh, I'm thinking about a big guppy tank. I know you guys are going, oh, he's on a guppy kick. What a moron. But I like it, you know, and I, I think a nice backdrop might be a guppy tank and it's planted, stuff like that. I would get rid of this tank and I would do a smaller tank. I'm thinking, you know, for me, this is small, right? Like a 55 or a 75 gallon tank. And uh, maybe I take this out. Maybe I finally fix this door and I put it against this back wall so that I can, you know, we can show the aquarium and stuff like that. And then I can actually look out the window every once in a while and that's be a cave troll all the time. Uh, but yeah, so I gotta get fish unloaded. What time is it? I'm, I'm running out of time. Filming and running out of time. 3.50 and I gotta be live at five. I gotta finish up this water change. I still gotta prep with Brayden. So yeah, I gotta get to work. So one of the bonus pairs uh, the male didn't make it, which the female did, so I'm still going to try. It might be pregnant, might be able to have one batch, but it's super duper small. Um, but that's alright, you know, it's the, you know, it's a bonus pair. Uh, the water is blue though, because I'm treating everything. I literally am going to treat everything here, and uh, you know, what I want, I brought the camera out, because I really want you guys to know, Medicating is not a sales pitch. Like, I don't care where you buy the meds from or anything like that, but really you should do uh, your due diligence and medicate, in my opinion. Um, at least keep in a really close eye and stuff like that. So um, all the water when I go show you the fish are gonna be blue. I'm putting in erythromycin right now. I already have Icax in there and I'm gonna do a general cure. And I'll put a link down below in the description and uh, down in the uh, comments as well to an actual link to like the tutorial or the playlist at least on how to do this because I just I think it's so important so many of you have so many issues and my first question to you always is like will I be quarantined no 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 everything's just falling apart like well we need to get some medicine we need to start having some tools to actually combat some of this um, so yeah anyway got to finish this so the other question I get asked all the time is isn't this going to kill your cycle or are the meds going to hurt shrimp and stuff like that it, it doesn't for me you know and it's the way I set up my systems and you know I can't seem to kill shrimp um, we just dosed it, you know, General Cure and Ickex and uh, Erythromycin down here. And uh, these are the, um, the Japan Blue Rainbows. And there's a pair of them in here, you know. So could it kill bacteria? Yes. But I believe most bacterial strains I have access to are already resistant to this med in terms of beneficial bacteria. And then on top of that, I believe that 
uh, the plants and the way I set up my tanks is, you know, auto water changing, that's a help. Uh, having lots of plants to digest the waste, that's a help too. And I don't think we kill all the bacteria either. So those are my personal opinions. Uh, what do we got in here? We, this one is the purple haze. Uh, I'm excited to see how these kind of grow up. You know, they're kind of a fun fish. They looked good on pictures. And I said, you know what, let's roll the dice. Um, over here, same thing, you know, shrimp aren't freaking out. For, in fact, they're buried. And uh, in this tank, we've got the platinum mosaics, I believe. Is that what I'm running in here? I, le I leave the bag sometimes until I really, when they're small, you can't tell what they are. Yeah, platinum galaxy rainbows. Um, so I, I leave the bag so I can know what they are until they grow up. And I'm like, oh yeah, clearly that's a red one. Clearly that's this. Uh, down here we've got the full gold tuxedos. Uh, this is one of the ones I'm most excited about. And as you can see here in all my tanks, you just see shrimp everywhere. These things are like snails, and for some reason people value them for lots of money, when really they do the same thing as a snail does. So I'm excited to see how those come out. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, these guppies are doing pretty good. Obviously these are from a long time ago, but they're coming in real nice. Got my algae, got a little bit of plant in there, and. I'm going to upgrade them to, uh, to a bigger tank once their population explodes. She's going to give birth any day now. She is so close. Either that or it's dropsy, but I think she's pregnant. I've been feeding pretty good in here though, so I could be dropsy. But typically, I've been feeding so much flake food and easy to digest stuff and stuff that will move through them easy that it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yep, got the Lone Ranger up here. I, I forget. I already forgot what strain this is. I gotta go look in the garbage because um, I don't think it's gonna stay on the invoice. Oh, that's gonna be the the black or the uh, the tuxedos. Let me pull it out here. It is the metallic German white tuxedo uh, bonus pair. Dang it! I actually want to see what those ones grew up to be. So yeah, I think that's all I got. I gotta do a little bit of feeding. I wanna fix this light here. I've got so much algae that there's not much light getting into here. But anyway, I get ready for that live stream. Got to flip the water and get it filling back up. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Let me know if you want to see more library content. I'm geeking out hard, as you can tell. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Leave comments down below. Check out other videos. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the live stream tonight. If not tonight, it'll be Sundays. If not Sunday, Christmas live stream to the extreme. All right, talk on, buddy. I should say buddies.